Today we're going to rebuild the side door on my pop-up camper. You can see on the video why I need to rebuild the door. It's got some wood rot at the top. I also intend to keep all the hardware and reuse it, the hinges and all the trim all the way around the door. And I start by taking off all the trim pieces, and as I take them off, I'm going to label them whether they're the latch side of the door or the hinge side of the door or whether it's top trim or the bottom trim. And next, I took off all the hardware and baggied it up so that I could reuse it if I needed to. I knew I was going to reuse the aluminum skin on the outside of the door, so I had to be very careful pulling the staples out of it so that I didn't damage the aluminum anymore. The original paint had become chalky over the last 40 years, and so the door was going to have to be cleaned up and repainted. I continued to take the door apart down to the frame because I wanted to see how it was built on the inside. And it turned out to be what I thought it was. It's a big wooden box. It's hollow in the middle and it has a one by two frame on the inside. So I began my rebuild by taking careful measurements of my doorway to make sure the door would be close to the same size. And I built a new frame out of one by twos. Instead of staples attaching all the framing, I'm using two and a half inch screws. And then I did use staples to attach one eighth inch paneling on both sides of the frame. In this case, I painted the exterior aluminum for the door a dark gray to match the other part of the dark gray on the trailer. And I attached it on the outside of the door using staples as well. I painted the inside of the door the same color white as the rest of the interior of the trailer. And after all the paint had dried, it was time to reinstall the trim on the outside. I used some one and a quarter inch decking screws to install the trim around the outside of the door. And you can also see that I painted the aluminum trim a nice satin black. Where the screws were visible, I used some number eight by one inch stainless steel screws to contrast with the black paint. And next it was time to install the door onto the trailer. After the Texas freeze, it was nice to be able to work on the trailer outside. The trailer looks too nice to reuse a 40 year old doorknob. So I'm gonna have to order a new one to match up with the new paint job. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I've got more to come.